Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries. Coming to you guys today with some good, good news. Okay, so for those of you who have heard and who have not heard, um, they have finally charged the other um, remaining three officers in the George Floyd murder. Uh, I believe their charge was aiding and abetting, second degree murder. That's what that's how it was reported on CNN. And then they also um, upgraded um, Chauvin's charge from third degree murder to second degree murder. And this is fantastic after how long, how long we've been protesting like what, eight, days maybe more days than that i don't know but um I, I i still feel like it was slow but you know it's one of those times where it's like you know normally we don't even get this far so i think a lot of it had to do with the fact that everything was on video but i also think it had to do with the response from the world there were protests in all 50 states um, huge protests in all 50 states from all races and religion and witches and all types of like different groups of people who did different things in the world that we might not have ever even heard about until this happened. I love the fact that everybody came together, all different races and all different religions came together as one to show like, you know, this is some stuff that y'all were able to get away with back in the day. And although it's still happening, although minorities are still being targeted at a disproportionate rate, um, I feel like this showed the world that you can't do whatever you want to do to anybody. I feel like although um, they got charged, this is a very, very small step in the process because we've seen officers get charged many times and then they'll charge will be downgraded so that they get less time or even probation or they'll just be found not guilty i think that is a large part of that is because a lot of people take for granted the reach of the police they think that they're a lot of people think that their reach just goes as far as like you know y'all could get away with mistreating people on the streets but that reach goes so far it goes so deep, deeper than we, deeper than we could ever imagine, deeper than we would ever be allowed for our power to go. So it'll reach, it can reach wide across every juror and they can intimidate jurors and make jurors vote in a certain direction so that the cops get less time. You know, ex-officer Chauvin, um, his charge got upgraded to um second degree murder but don't be surprised if they go to court and then they put it back to a third degree murder or even a lesser charge um i think some of good points as to why they bumped it up to second degree is because of the autopsy now i go on and on about the fact that the first person who did the autopsy basically lied none of us were medical examiners and we saw how he died and why he died and how he could have died and what would have been the reason why he died so when when that first report came out we all knew that it was garbage trying to just basically protect the cops which is another thing it just shows the power that they have um it just is disgusting so the fact that they the, the family decided to do a second autopsy which i think was fantastic um and it showed that he did die from asphyxiation which we all knew that he died from asphyxiation because we saw him die from that um as well as they ruled it a homicide so i think that that also played into his charge being bumped up to second degree murder now they done moved this man like two three times already they got him on suicide watching all of that stuff which i want him alive keep him alive keep him alive i'm not the type of person that's like you know he needs to die because george floyd died i feel like when you commit a crime you should not get the privilege to end your life you should not get the privilege to not live out your sentence. I pray however much time he gets, I pray that he's a very healthy man and he gets to stay in jail and, and deal with torture day in and day out because you're going to be a, a cop in jail that's known for mistreating black people. Now everybody know minorities are the largest group of people in jail. It's a lot of people in jail who probably have come in contact with Chauvin. 
So I can only imagine the fear. These glasses feel kind of wobbly. I can only imagine the fear that he's experiencing right now. He ain't doing no federal time. You doing regular, regular state time. So it's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. And I just hope that justice is served. I feel like it took too long for all of them to get arrested, especially the last three, um, especially considering the fact that they got fired from their job so quickly. And their own um, police chief said that he felt like all of them were just as guilty as Chauvin was because none of them did the right thing. So I don't know if they felt like if they would have did the right thing that they would have lost their jobs or they would have been demoted because you know cops they're not known for doing the right thing a lot of cops are not known for doing the right thing but hey you lost your job anyway and you're going to jail so in the grand scheme of things probably would have came out a little bit better had you taken a little bit of initiative but you know hey you live and you learn i hope all four of those cops um just miraculously if they had any health issues i hope the health issues go away so that they can stay in jail their full amount of time and deal with everything that everybody else has to deal in jail times 10 because they're cops they're cops who murdered a man a black man in broad daylight with the cameras on and stayed on him even after he died even after they knew he was dead even when the paramedics came so no they don't get they shouldn't get the luxury of dying early they're gonna stay in jail i hope they get the max amount of time because all four of them deserve it um they're going to be in jail depending on how long they're going to be in jail they're going to go through what everybody else who goes to jail for a very long time has to deal with and that's being nobody the letters are going to eventually stop the calls are going to eventually stop the money on the books is going to eventually stop the care is going to eventually stop for trying to keep them to try to keep in contact with them and they're going to be like a lot of people who go to jail when they do bad things they're going to be just not even a memory and that to me that sounds like justice so yeah yeah that's it so if you guys like this video or you just like my vibe make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe and until the next time we meet be the change that you want to see